Hey guys, Brendan with Sons of Speed, and today we have this, the Ford Mustang Mach-E. Now Ford wants us to think they slap a Mustang name on it, we should all just think it's a Mustang. But is it really? I think we can answer that question with the help of our friend Chris, who actually owns a 5.0 Mustang. Let's go find him and find out. All right, Paul, here we are in the Mustang Mach-E. We're gonna go find Chris to see if he thinks it deserves that name. I'm kind of nervous what Chris is gonna think about this car, because you know Chris is like the world's biggest Mustang fan. Yes, he is. <laughs> uh, he breathes, lives, and I mean, uh, every uh, piece Mustang. of clothing, every hat, everything that he does is Mustang. And, and if we want to buy him like a gift, what do you, you buy him a Mustang yeah, yeah, gift, right? Like he, you know, I even got him some Mustang cologne. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the man is a Mustang. He, he's a fanatic, so I really don't know what he's going to think about this thing. Uh, what this thing does that's very Mustang-like is that it's fast. And the turns are not bad because uh, you got the battery pack right under your feet, and it's got a low center of gravity. Yeah. But the torque, it's just instant torque. So, you know, I think we're going to have to go Chris into a little bit of a race because I'm pretty sure I can destroy that uh, is I, I very think quick off the line, you might. Also, your all-wheel drive. Yes, I, this is all-wheel um, drive, which is not standard. That is an option. Oh, but. it's an option. Okay. Um, so your all-wheel drive, and you got that instant torque. However, I think once you start getting up to speed, this is not the GT model. No. So once you start getting up to speed, I have a feeling his uh, 5.0 V8 will start to overtake. So we'll have to set this test up in a way that yeah. makes sure. <laughs> We'll that make it I short would. enough. Yeah. <laughs> so we've sort of been, we've been driving around and sort of beating on it a little bit. And I still have 93% battery left. Like, so the battery life has actually been really good. And I don't have a level two charger at home, but as long as I get home with about 85 or more percent, I can plug it in and pretty much overnight, especially if it's like around 90, it'll top it off. Gotcha. Overnight. Okay. So That's good. It's even, you know, if I had a level two, it would be no problem. So charging networks. It uses the Electrify America network, which is, there's some amount of charging included for free. Ah, okay. Um, so the Ele could, Electrify America realizes when you plug in what your yes, car is. You and just how plug it in. And how much like <laughs> freebies you still have left yes. and stuff. Well, that is pretty cool. It's very cool. So once you set the car up, you just plug it in. You don't have to do it. You don't have to touch anything. You don't have to put a credit card in. At other stations, you will have to pay for the power but if you go to electrified america yep. uh, kiosk you're you're good you're good to go we're almost to i think where we can find chris so let's go see if he thinks this is a true mustang What the hell is this? This, Chris, is a Mustang. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. This is not a Mustang. Yes, it no. is. No. This, my friends, is a Mustang. This, is, I'm not sure what this is. Well, I let's really do this a little scientifically. So okay. what makes a Mustang a Mustang? I think there's a few things that make a Mustang a Mustang. Number one, it's the heritage of a Mustang right that comes in with the history the design the 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 whole legend of a mustang there's the bargain uh bang for your buck aspect of a mustang yeah. oh okay. okay all right well hey all right so like uh you know compared to another 435 to 465 horsepower car yes this is a pretty good bargain right yes compared to a tesla model y this is a pretty good bargain. It's about fifty-five thousand okay, dollars. Okay, fair enough. Extended battery in it. Fair enough. I'll give you that the headlights are indicative of the Mustang headlights. You can see kind of that sharp uh, headlight. I part. have shoulders on the back of my wheel arches. All right. I yes, and that is very Mustang too. Those those big shoulders that you, you are see. missing the hood scoop. Um, but I have no. I have the twin rays. That's true. Buttresses. Yeah. yeah. Just okay. like your. I don't have that, but I could stick one of these on. <laughs> you could. And it would be just as that fake as that one. Hilarious. <laughs> you could do that. All right. And I'll even give you that they're trying, trying, they haven't succeeded as far as I'm concerned, to mimic 
the famous Mustang Shark Nose Grill. Yes, they are. It's not exactly there. I'm still not convinced that this is a full Mustang, okay? There is something that this does not have, and I'm going to show you. Do you have one of those? The Mustang Coyote 5.0 V8. Yeah, Brendan, V8. It is a nice engine. However, I have something under my hood. Ta -da. Yeah, yeah, see? That's what I'm talking about. Okay. That's not a Mustang. Dude, he's got you there. All right, here's another thing that I could say that why this is not a Mustang. Why? Okay. That's the sound. There is nothing in the world like the sound of a Mustang V8 ripping down the road. Uh, Let me demonstrate for you. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's going to be hard to argue with this one, guys. I think the back end is just as important as the front end design. Absolutely. In fact, I think the Mustang not only is one of the best looking back ends right now, but I think the back end is where a lot of designers fail. Well, so I agree. I agree too. And you've got here on the mu yep, your the Mustang, Mustang, you got the three traditional thing. three bar Mustang. What do you got over there, Paul? Now the three bar taillights. Uh -huh. uh, all right, I'll give you that. It, it has a three bar. It's not exact, but they did bring in that design out. You, okay. ha you have a duckbill spoiler. spoiler. What do we have over there, we Paul? We have a duckbill spoiler. Okay. How about, all right. uh, oh, your, uh, your backup yeah. light. Uh, yeah, your the, the, the backup port. light. Yeah. What do we have over there, Paul? We have a backup light that looks just like the other Mustang. It actually is exactly like it, isn't it? And then, uh, all even, right, but the, but the backup light doesn't make it a Mustang. Okay, I, I, I'll grant you that. That's a, that's a weak one. It but doesn't we, make it a Mustang. But here you got this, this sort of design where it, it, it yeah you know, the, the back bumper how the back bumper housing and the design here yeah. which what do we have Paul? Yeah, we have the little concave curve going on here yeah, as well yeah okay all right i mean all right it, it there's there's cues i'll give you that and and most importantly i think for a mustang styling one uh -huh, is uh -huh. this is yeah the fastback i mean the the mustang pretty much started the fastback and fastback I will say yes. Looking at the new Mach-E and looking at the S550 Mustang, which obviously you can see there is some similarities in the design. From a distance, you got to admit, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's a taller version of the Mustang. I will give you that. I get why you think it looks like a Mustang. I'm still not sold that it is a Mustang. Well, we'll keep going and find out. Yes. Fair enough. Yeah, can your Mustang do this? That's a Mustang, huh? Oh yeah. yeah. I'm gonna blow right. your doors off. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're gonna we'll be si see. You're gonna be sitting there spinning those wheels while I'm at the finish line with my all-wheel drive instant torque. Three, two, one, go! I'm in park. We have to do that one more time. <laughs> <laughs> I won! Big problem with electric cars is you have no uh -huh. idea if it's on or ready to go. Are, do you want to try this again? I would like to try again. I am now in, uh, now I'm in drive. Okay. Okay, ready? One, two, go! Instant torque for the win! <laughs> that was that was really close. 
So, Chris, uh, th- you just lost to the base Mustang. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> and if it wasn't for the real wheel drive and the traction, I would have had you. Yeah. I would have had you. But I will say, this thing's pretty freaking cool. It's pretty quick. So, Chris, did we change your mind? I don't know if I'm 100% sold, but I will tell you this. I am impressed. Uh, after taking it out real quick and putting it up against this and going over what's a Mustang, what's not a Mustang, I'm definitely warming up. I think it's an actually a pretty awesome car. And, I'm and still keep, not 100% keep, keep sold. Keep in mind, this is not the GT version, which right. is, even has more power. That's coming out soon. Right. The GT version, I'm actually pretty excited about because that's better range, a lot more power. Yep. Zero to six is supposed to be like 3.5, 3.8 seconds. Um, that's insane. I that is going to be worth it. a feeling Ford is going to sell a crap ton of these things because if you have a family and you want a sporty looking car yeah. and a sporty driving car and something that you could call a Mustang. This thing is awesome. It's all wheel drive. You can drive it all year long. Yep. Even if somebody like you, who doesn't drive this in the winter time. Correct. This goes in the garage. In right. the snow, this could be your winter car. That could be. And here's the other thing I will say about this. Going, uh, comparing it to its biggest competitor, the, the Tesla. Um, Model, y. Model Y. Thank you. Uh, right there shows you why I had a problem with that. This has branding. Yes. Yes. Like, it's easy to say the new Mustang Mach-E, the Tesla Model Y. What is that? What does that mean? Exactly. This has a brand to it. This has a lifestyle to it. This is kind of like what Apple did with the iPod. They actually put a solid brand and lifestyle to the car to help sell it and make it more appealing. So for that... I think Ford did a great job. I really did. Somebody who is a die-hard Mustang oh, fan. Oh, you, you are a die-hard I'm a hard die-hard fan. Mustang fan. <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I like the look of it. This red is gorgeous. Yeah, it is a very nice red. That's we got a, a lot of compliments red. on this color. I like the new, how they updated the Mustang logo for the Mach-E. I think it's cool. Um, I'm, I'm totally warming up to the Mach-E as being an actual Mustang. So, we knew you would. I, I, I step back. Lightning might strike me. As I'm <laughs> yeah, I know. And, and I can already see yeah, yeah. all the comments. Yeah. <laughs> now, listen, all the haters, this is coming from a Mustang guy. I'm not, I don't want to say it, but the Maki is a Mustang. So with that being said. On that bombshell, <laughs> uh, I want to thank everyone for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel. We are Motor Driven. There's so much awesome content on this channel that you will just have nowhere else that you need to go. Just just subscribe here. You're, you're one and done. And make sure you hit a like on this video. Throw us a comment. Share it with your friends. We'll see you next time here with Sons of Speed on We Are Motor Driven. Take care. By the way, I am denying everything I just said about this. <laughs> We've got it on tape. Okay, my range is kind of low, so let's go fill this thing up. It's more miles.